Hey everybody, uh, Andy Walker here again. Sorry I haven't really done anything or had any videos going on. Uh, been pretty preoccupied lately, uh, several months now. Ever since uh, the election last May, the primary, um, losing that, I've just been uh, growing, um, just learning and taking different tactics on doing stuff and around the community um so i'm still here i'm still alive uh, i'm still fighting i will never quit on that i will never quit on you guys um i my fight will always keep going and uh, i'm always going to be here so if you guys ever need to get a hold of me uh andy walker for office.com uh there's an email on there also so uh, don't be afraid to reach out to me. Um, a lot of you may have my number, so uh, shoot me a text and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get things going. But I did have some important information to, to get out to you guys. Uh, Pennsylvania definitely needs to wake up. Um, what's going on behind doors, uh, the media obviously is not gonna show you, uh, tell you about it. Uh, folks, this is this is huge. Um, so it's a lot of information. I'm going to try to get to you as much as I can. Um, but for further details, for more information, please, everyone, just get a hold of your, your state representatives, your legislators. Um, give them a call uh, if you want to know more information about what's going on. But in a uh, long story short kind of type uh every 10 years obviously pennsylvania does their census um did it in 2010 2020 so after every census they have to do a redistricting uh for voting and whatnot well the thing is, uh, they're, they're doing the redistricting right now, um, and a lot of you may have heard about it, but don't know much about what's going on. Um, so that's why I'm going to try to get as much information out as I can. Uh, so as of right now, uh, if you live in, this is just for an example, uh, because I had a meeting, um, was held two days ago. Uh, which would have been Wednesday um, with our local state representative here. And uh, so he gave us some examples, but this is Lancaster County. This is his district. Um, so this is what it looks like now. Um, so I'm going to read a little bit. I'm reading off my phone here just so I can get the information right. Um, so the Pennsylvania constitution says the uh, redistricting committee is to be made up of the majority and minority leaders in the house and Senate from the house. There's representative Benninghoff and representative, uh, McClinton from the Senate, there's Senate ward and Senate Senator Costa Costa. Uh, so there's four right there. Uh, the PA Supreme Court decides on the fifth member. Uh, so through the five Democratic, the five Democrat and two Republican judges selected uh, Mr. Mark Nordenberg, which was a chancellor at uh, University of Pittsburgh. Um, folks, this guy is a very far left, very liberal uh, man. So they ended up picking him uh, to be the fifth person. Um, and he is the one that came up with this new map uh, for the redistricting in PA. Uh, this guy's going against the constitution, the PA constitution. Um, he's drawn a map of that splits municipalities splits communities of interest splits cities uh all in an attempt to gain seats for the democrats um 
Representative McClinton has already said uh, about how they were going to take to the map to gain seats uh, in the House for the Democrats. Uh, so this is their way of doing it. Um, folks, they're, they're setting themselves up to cheat again. Um, in this election, in future elections. So what's happening is, um, like I showed you, this is the current map of my local representative. And this will be if they go and decide on the new map that Nordenberg has come up with. Uh, unconstitutionally, this would, would was, that's what it would look like. Now, I know it's tough, uh, again, to, to really comprehend without seeing, um, but this is, this blue line right here, that is the Lancaster and Berks County line. That right there, first of all, is one unconstitutional way of drawing up a map they cannot cross counties they split municipalities up in berks county uh they're splitting communities of interest which is all against the pennsylvania constitution folks please this is huge this is huge this is their way of trying to take back seats in the pennsylvania house and we cannot let this happen. Um, unfortunately, right now, because it was never brought up out to the public, um, they representatives that have tried uh, either have been censored, um, they've, they've been silenced. So it unfortunately is out of our hands right now. It is in the Pennsylvania uh, Supreme Court, on, uh, so we have to wait for their judgment. It went into the court system, I believe it was on Tuesday. Uh, today is Friday. So we don't know what they're going to decide on, uh, what they're, how long it's going to take. Uh, that's the other issue is... It could be tomorrow when they come up with a judgment. It could be six months from now. Uh, but we have to remember, we have primaries coming up here in May uh, for the midterm. So if they decide to, to wait too long on a decision, uh, which has never happened, but the representatives are, are going to have to, the House is going to have to to push up the primary. Uh, it, hopefully it never, it doesn't come down to that, but folks, this is, this is huge. We need to wake up. Pennsylvania needs to wake up because if these Democrats are trying to draw up a map that is against the Pennsylvania constitution and the Pennsylvania Supreme court rules on this new map, that's the question. What do we do as citizens? What do we do? Because that would mean our Pennsylvania Supreme Court once again goes against the Constitution. We have to wake up, folks. We have to. I'm trying to spread this as much as I can and as fast as I can. Uh, I know, again, it's in the court system and it's out of our hands, but folks, we need to bring attention to this as much as we can. We got, we got to get loud on this. Call your, your representatives, call your legislators, put a voice in about this. See if they will give you a copy of, of the current map and, and the new map of where you live. Because this is huge. Um, I can't stress that enough. I mean, we've been through too much in the past two years, since 2020, uh, to keep letting this happen. We have to stop them in their tracks, folks. It, it's got to happen. And when our justice system fails us, it, it comes down to we the people. It always has and it always will be we the people. So what do we do when it fails us?
We have to stand up and make it right. We have to have our voices heard. If you haven't woke up yet and seen what's going on around you, Pennsylvania, this is this is it. This is our wake up right here. We cannot let this happen. Uh, so we're hoping that uh, they decide to keep the current map for now, for the next two years, and, and sometime maybe this summer, they can come up with with another map that is constitutional. I mean, it, it, it sticks with the Constitution. Um, so uh, that that's some of the the information on that. Again, if you want any more information, please call your legislators, call your your representatives in your area, uh, please. Uh, this is, this, we have to do something about this. We have to make our voices heard. Um, on another note, uh, while in the meeting with the, our representative, uh, he did say that they also have a, uh, um, a court date and it is in the court, PA, uh, Supreme Court that they are trying to drop Act 77. Uh, I believe there's, if I'm not mistaken, there's 14 representatives that are on this uh, um, lawsuit. Um, hoping we can drop Act 77, which would take the voting laws back prior to 2020. Um, the mail-in ballots, the drop boxes, we have to drop that. If we don't, if we don't drop Act 77, who knows what they're capable of doing. Again, in, in the midterms here, 2020, uh, 2024, and, and future future elections. This, uh, we have to get off our asses and do something. Guys, get to meetings. Um, there's so much talk and chatter uh, online and, and keyboard warriors, but that is done guys we have to stop stop you get away from your computers and get out in the streets get out in public do meetings face to face call your representative if there's no meetings or any kind of um chapters of any of these grassroots in your area call your representative call your local representative in your area and see if they'll come out and try to set up a meeting with them, uh, with whoever you can grab, 20, 30 people. That's how it spreads, folks. We need these grassroots uh, groups to start standing up, and uh, we need to be heard and seen. Start meeting with your representatives on a monthly basis. Get the information as it's coming, coming out instead of waiting till it's too late. We have to to stand together. It is we the people. It always will be. We cannot sit around and wait for one person or one group to do something for us. To to sit and wait and, and maybe 2024 will be better. Uh, we can get a, a president back in. I want that more than anybody else. But guess what? Do we have till 2024? Do we have another two years? Two and a half years of this? No, we don't. We won't have a country to fight for. We won't have freedoms to fight for. Think of your kids. Think of your children. What are they growing up and looking at right now? What are they going to have in 20 years? Nothing. I get so frustrated at... at why nobody is is doing anything people we need to unite stand together no complying everybody's complying about all these mandates going on just so they can stop the mandates what sense does that make you give them an inch they'll take a mile stop it in its tracks say no stand up for yourself stand up for your your family, stand up for your rights, your freedoms, and your country, folks. Pennsylvania, it's time to wake up. 
and start fighting for what's ours because we are a big swing state. And if we lose our state again, there goes a lot more elections. So I uh, just want to say thanks everybody for your support, your uh, following. Um, but please spread this video to every Pennsylvanian you know. Spread it all over the state because we need to wake up. So God bless Pennsylvania. God bless all of you in America. And don't forget, let's go Brandon.